top five most powerful organizations in the world. In an era of interconnectedness, how can we gauge the influence of the top most powerful organizations on the planet? Even for talented business students, this is no easy task. Let's get into the video. Hello, and welcome to Excelento. In today's video, we'll tell you about the top most powerful organizations in the world. It became instantly clear that important quantitative financial measurements like turnover, net income, assets, and market value are intimately linked to a company's power. But the most important thing is influence, including political, commercial, and consumer influence. Here are the five most powerful organizations that are going to blow your mind with their impact on the world. Number 5. The Medellin Cartel A cartel is a small group of significant businesses, often the top four in any given sector, that can join to increase their market share through price fixing, collusion, and supply-side restrictions. The world's largest cocaine trafficking cartel was the Medellin Cartel. At its height, it was the source of 80% of the cocaine sold in the United States and other nations. The entire process, including cultivation, lab production, shipping, wholesale, and distribution, was completely under its control. Consists of a number of families working as a single unit to completely dominate the market. For obvious reasons, Pablo Escobar is the Medellin cartel's most well-known member. Because of his lavish investments in social and infrastructural initiatives, he became not just the group's leader but also known as the richest criminal in history and a tremendously beloved person in Colombia. He controlled the monthly trafficking of 70 to 80 tons of cocaine into America in the 1980s, which resulted in his incarceration in absurdly opulent circumstances. Escobar's killing in 1993 on a rooftop by police signaled a change in the cartel's fortunes. The organization disintegrated without his strong leadership, charm, and interpersonal connections. There was also an equally important figure, Carlos Later, often known as the Magician, who earned this title by performing a magic trick that caused cocaine to vanish in one nation and return to the United States. He was in charge of using his fleet of aircraft to transport megatons of cocaine from an island he controlled in the Bahamas to Florida flooding the United States of America with the drug through his deft distribution system, the Hitman Division, or Sicarios, and its right-arm paramilitary force, which was created to fend off guerrilla rebels in the jungles, closely guarded the cartel's massive transcontinental dominion. Anyone who interfered with the organization's business was subjected to torture, mutilation, and death. The final piece of the jigsaw was George Jung. In 1973, he and later first connected in a Connecticut jail where they grew close through a passion for heroin trafficking. Jum described how they came to meet in an interview in 2000, saying he was seeking for a route to smuggle cocaine out of Colombia and someone to sell it in the United States, and there I was. It was comparable to a union that either ended up in paradise or hell. Jung established the market and distribution for the Colombian's products using his connections on the American side of the business. He gained millions, as you might expect, but after being arrested, he spent 20 years in prison. Number 4. Mafia Italy is synonymous with the name Mafia, which has Sicilian roots, although the country is home to numerous distinct mafias, three of which are particularly renowned. The violence of Calabria and the Camera, the third largest mafia, which operates in Naples and the Campania area, are two additional strong organizations despite the fact that the Cosa Nostra of Western Sicily is the most notorious. A mafia is a criminal organization that combines aspects of a classic secret society with those of a corporation and is motivated by social, economic, and political power. Nevertheless, further degrees of intricacy is required to fully comprehend these organizations. This occurs, generally speaking, as a result of each mafia fabricating a fiction about the growth of the organization that passes for fact. In essence, a large part of what makes its adherents so entirely devoted to it also contributes to the reason why outsiders are so utterly terrified of it. The mafia is thought to be Italy's most potent criminal gang and a close neighbor of the Costa Nostra. The mafia is based in Calabria, the part of Italy that is the farthest to the southwest, which borders Messina in Sicily. 
Despite having its roots in the late 19th century, the Mafia did not begin to expand outside of Italy until the 1950s. From then, it extended throughout the rest of the world, creating an empire that today spans from Australia and Turkey to Chile and Canada. The Mafia was able to expand and mature behind the scenes because it was overshadowed by the Neapolitan Mafia, the Camera, as well as the Sicilian Cosa Nostra. For many years, many mistakenly believed that the Calabrian Mafia was only an attachment of the Costa Mastra and not a separate organization. Number 3. Yamaguchi Gumi The Yamaguchi Gumi, a Japanese organized crime group with roots in Kobe, is regarded as the most well-known and influential Yakuza group in Japan. The founder of the group, Harukichi Yamaguchi, gave the group its name after organizing a little dock workers union in Kobe before World War II. The third Kimichu, Katsuo Taka, led the clan to a time of riches and power never before seen in the Japanese criminal underworld, giving the organization its current status and influence. Under Kamado Tayama's guidance, Yamaguchi Gumi dispatched a tiny clan from the Kyoto sect in 1999 to take root in Los Santos. The United Merchants Firm? a legal front company founded by the clan's leadership in 1993, eventually merged with the Starlight Inc., then controlled by Akira Sakura in 1995. Between July 2012 and October of the same year, the Toyama clan, under the direction of Akira Sakura, saw a brief flurry of activity. The Toyama clan saw a significant transformation in the years that followed Kamado's demise. With control divided among four main clans, the Yakuza regarded itself above the law and called it a chivalrous organization. The Yakuza's influence is extensive, and they ingrain their extreme nationalist views into local communities. However, they are frequently quick to help with disaster relief, as in the 1995 Kobe earthquake and the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami, offering relief and distributing aid allegedly faster than the government. However, they are no dark nights. They are alleged to deal in human trafficking and have shady connections to banking and government. Number 2. Crisps and Blood The Crips, also known as the original Cripsonis, were formed in the late 1960s by a group of urban distressed African-American youngsters in Los Angeles. The Crips later rose to prominence in America, with an estimated 35,000 active members spread into 800 sets or factions as of 2008. A decades-long war between the two organizations, symbolized by different dissimilar hand signals and competing color schemes, began soon after the Bloods was founded as a countermeasure to the Crips. This is known as the OBF, or Original Blood Family. The Crips and the Bloods have a reputation for violence, urban gang warfare, and drug dealing, and they continue to be a dangerous presence in the surrounding areas. Number 1. The Russian Mafia the Russian Mafia, one of the most well-organized criminal organizations in the world, has a lengthy history dating back to the imperial period in the 1720s, but its brutal and menacing character was solidified during the Soviet era with commanders of forced labor camps. Numerous Russian Mafia groups have successfully dabbled in international politics, commerce, drugs, and the black market. They are renowned for their intimidating business practices and instantly recognized yet cryptic tattoos. Well, that's it. Tell your views in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our new videos. You can also watch our other videos suggested just for you. See you in the next video.